Hi students, today we are discussing about sets. German mathematician G. Cantor introduced the concept of sets. He had defined a set as a collection of different and distinguishable objects selected by the means of certain rules or descriptions. Sets theory is formed as the basics of the several other fields of study like the counting theory, relationship, graph theory and finite state mechanics. In this chapter, we will cover the different accepts of the sets theory. Set definition. A set, a set is a collection of distinct object, well-defined object. Here, consider as an object in own right. A set can be written especially by listing its elements using a set brackets. If the order of the elements is changed or any element of a set is represented, it does not make any changes in the set. Some examples of the sets, a set of all positive integers, a set of all planets in the solar system. And another example is a set of all the states in India. Here you discuss the sets definition and some other examples. Next, representation of a set. Set can be represented in a two ways, rooster form or tabular form. Second one is set builder notation. So here we discuss about the roster or tabular form. The set is represented by listing all the elements comparing it. The elements are enclosed within the brackets or separated by the commas. For example, is a set of vowel numbers in English alphabets. A E I O is a vowels. A equal to set of A comma E comma I comma O comma U. Here write in a commas. Second one is set builder notation the set is defined by the specifying a property that elements of the set have in common the set is described as a equal to x such that p of x for example here the set is a of a e i o u is a vowels so here we can write uh, in set build of notation a equal to x such that x is an oval in english alphabet close the brackets next one is some important sets here n is the set of all natural numbers z the set of all integers z plus the set of all positive integers q the set of all rational numbers so r is the set of all real numbers w is the set of all whole numbers sets can be classified into many times like finite, infinite, subset, universal, proper, single tone sets, etc. Finite set. Here you are discussing a sum of sets. Here finite set. A set which contains a definite number of elements is called a finite set. A infinite set. A set which contains an infinite number of elements is called a infinite set. Subset. A set X is a subset of a set Y. Here you can written in this form. Every element of X an element of set y for example let x equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 numbers and y equal to 1 comma 2 numbers here the set of y is a subset of set of x all the elements of the set y is in the set of x hence we can written as in this way next proper subset in the term proper subset can be defined as subset of but not equal to a set x is a proper subset of set y if elements of x is an element of y it can be right in this way for example x equal to 1 to 6 elements is here and y equal to 2 elements is here here y subset of x all the elements in y are contained in x has at least one element is more than the set of y this is called subset next one is universal set it is a collection of elements in a particular context or application all the sets in that contents or applications are essentially subsets of this universal set universal set can be represented as u for example we many define u as the set of all animals in the earth in this case set of all mammals is the subset of u okay next one is empty set or null set an empty set contains no elements it is denoted by pi as the number of the elements in the empty set is finite empty set is the finest set the coordinately of empty set or null set is zero here no elements in this set 
some examples is there here we can discuss the 7 and 8 7 or 8 in between number is no number is there so x is a null set single tone set or union set single tone set or union set contains only one element a single element set denoted by s so 7 or 9 it's a in between number is 8 so 8 is a single stone set or unit set equal set if two sets containing the same elements they are said to be equal for example a equal to 1 2 6 b equal to 6 1 2 here three elements is there b also a yeah? three elements is there they are a equal or every element of a set a is an element of set b and every element of set b is an element of set a so both are in equal sets so equivalent set the two sets are same they are called equivalent set you, here we can write the example 1 2 6 here b equal to 16 17 22 here a equal to three elements and b equal to three elements so they are equivalent is coordinately of a, a is equal to the coordinately of b that is a equal to b here three is a common elements overlapping set two sets that have at least one common element are called overlapping set two sets that have a, at least one common elements that that is called a overlapping set here some rules are following the overlapping sets example let a equal to 1 to 6 b equal to 6 12 42 here the common element is both a and b sets having a 6 hence there is a set is overlapping set disjoint set a and b are called the disjoint sets they don't have any one element in a common therefore disjoint set have the following properties n of a intersection b equal to pi of a intersection b equal to pi n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b plus n of a union b equal to n of a plus n of b for example some more examples let's a equal to 1 to 6 b equal to 7 9 14 there are there no single common element here here a equal to 1 to 6 and b equal to 7 9 14 here no common element you can observe hence these sets are overlapping sets Today we are discussing sets and sets representation and sets types. How many types? It's a finite set, infinite set, subset, proper subset and universal set and empty or null set, single zone set or unit set, equivalent set, equal set, overlapping set, disjoint set. Uh, these are the types of sets. Next class we are discussing about the Venn diagrams. Thanks for watching.